Hey everyone, my name is Shelton Ebby and today I'm going to talk about test day for my MCAT. Stay tuned. Alright, so test day. It was so long ago, I don't even remember it. <laughs> Like, but I know it was a good day. It was a good day. It was a good day because I went there and I saw other Howard students and I was like, oh my god, yay. But at my testing center, we weren't all taking the MCAT. Some people were taking the GRE, some people were taking like, I think maybe the GED, I don't know. But um, yeah, we weren't all taking the MCAT. I was, <laughs> I was sort of nervous. I was hella nervous, probably. No, I was nervous, but I know it wasn't like an overwhelming level of nervousness. And I think that the the practice runs helped. I took the test so many times that I, I couldn't get nervous, if that makes sense. You know, I, I hate when people say if that makes sense, because half the time it does. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, I finished super early. Oh, that gave me some kind of confidence. But the thing is, okay, I didn't finish the bio section, which I'm still salty about, but bio, no, no. I did, bio I got like a 129. I hope I get this right, cause I don't wanna have to put it on the screen again. It's a lot of work. <laughs> no, no, it's not that much work. Bio, I got a 129. Chem and, chem and physics, I got a 130. And then psych, I got a 130 as well. And psych was the one that I, I had like maybe 20 to 40 minutes of spare time on. Which is funny, because again, I didn't finish the book, but like, I knew psych. I'm not gonna lie, I knew psych before, like, I don't know, psych is something I'm always like very passionate, very interested in, so, but anywho. Yeah, it was so great to see other Howard students, so if you're really close with like, students, you know, in your school, try to maybe like, you know, get a group of students that you can like test together with, especially if you study together with them. I think that it actually really, really helps because uh, it calms you down and gives you confidence. There's like, I don't know if you guys know about Howard Pride. I hope that I, you know, exude that. Howard's, Howard's, <laughs> Howard's bisons have a lot, a lot of pride. And so it's, it was really nice to like go into the testing center and see other people with their Howard t-shirts. So I don't know, if you're really, really big on your school and your school is a source of pride for you, then try to coordinate with other students to take the test together so that you see, you know, affiliations with your school. Or maybe take it in school if you can. I, I don't know if certain schools have testing centers. Or just take it at a location that's close to your school so you have a higher chance of, of seeing people that you know. Yeah, not all people are taking the MCAT. Ooh, this... This got me. So there are certain recurrent topics from my practice tests that I did not see on the MCAT, which got me so salty. Mirrors, um, all the physics questions with mirrors was on every single practice test and I did not see it on my actual exam. I can't even remember now, but like, there were just a lot of like physics concepts. Ooh, and chemistry concepts. Specifically in this section of the MCAT is, 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 where the issue lies, but like there were a lot of physics and chemistry concepts that were in every practice exam that I ever took that never showed up on my actual MCAT. And I was really like, wow, I studied so hard. Given I did the best in that section, I got a 130, but you know, I and I am a chemistry major, so I don't know, maybe that's something, but I was really salty about that. And in fact, that's, that's the other thing. So I got a couple of questions that I only, knew because I took physical chemistry because you know I'm a chemistry major and they had to do with like wavelengths and what color the you know what color the visible spectrum is this wavelength and I only knew that I only remembered that because I took physical chemistry and I felt really cheated I'm not gonna lie I felt really cheated because I was like if I was a bio major I don't think I would have done well you know if I was if I just didn't take physical chemistry, I don't think I would have done as well. And I guess, you know, everybody, every now and then somebody gets the hard MCAT, I don't know. But that's just something that stood out to me. So since I have a lot of time left, um, let me go into like what I've learned just overall after test day <laughs> or just after this whole shebang. Do as many questions as you can and re review them all. You want to do questions before you feel comfortable doing questions. Of course, the way I formatted my study was I reviewed the material that I studied, which I don't think is a bad idea, but maybe 
if you incorporate, especially if you're a fast reader, if you incorporate doing questions as you review, because you want to get through all the questions. I believe I got through all the AMC questions, but I didn't review all the AMC questions. I didn't get through reviewing them all, which I'm, you know, I'm, I don't really regret how I studied. I think it could have been optimized, but I had an internship. What am I gonna do? Um, but anywho, give yourself time, but not too much time, because too much time can really uh, tank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I started to feel like I forgot a, a few things. And people say the same thing about step one, like when they give themselves too much time, when they think they need an extra week, they start forgetting things. So that's why I definitely think that's important. Um, oh yeah, consider your trend and where you want it to go. So something that, something that gets me, <laughs> something that gets me is for my SATs, I shot for a 2100 and I ended up getting a 2050. For my MCAT, I shot for a 520. I ended up getting a 517. Step one seems like a huge dark cloud over my existence, but I want, I want to get the score that I want. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to fall short of the, of the goal that I set for myself. And I know I came off to a rough start with my MCAT video, oh, sorry, with my, with my medical school uh, journey. Y'all can look at my, um, what is that? Y'all can look at where I celebrate, you know, the number of subscribers that I have if you want to look at that. Yeah, like, just consider the trend. Let me get back to the topic. Consider the trend that you're currently creating for yourself. If you always score a little bit higher than what you shoot for, great, that's amazing. Shoot high still. But if you, if you find that you always set unrealistic expectations for yourself, and of course I always like to say three is a pattern, so the SAT is just one test, uh, one standardized test, so you may not be able to have like, or maybe you took the SAT and the ACT, I don't know, but you may not be able to have like a slew of tests to compare. But um, consider the trend and, and consider the type of trend that you want to create for yourself. Do you shoot high? Do you shoot high enough? Maybe you didn't shoot high enough for your SAT and then you didn't get into the college that you want to get to. So consider the trend, consider the trend. Don't sleep on any topic. I am so, so, so salty that I never picked up a cars book. Now the reason why I didn't pick up a, a book for cars because I didn't know they had a, a book for cars. I got the Kaplan set. And pretty much when I went to the bookstore, uh, they had every single subject except for cars there. And I didn't realize it and I just didn't, I didn't realize that until like, way late in the game. And the Cars book isn't even that bad, it's not that long. It's about as big as the organic chemistry book, if not smaller. So um, yeah, like don't sleep on any topic. If you guys remember one of the earlier videos that I made in this playlist where I <laughs> laughed shamelessly. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's not funny. But where I was talking about this girl who like thought she didn't have to study psychology because she was a psych major. Do not sleep on any subject, okay? You want to put your best foot forward, so put your best foot forward. Yes, don't hurt yourself and don't underestimate yourself. I had like two mental breakdowns I think I talked about this. I had two mental breakdowns and they weren't like like legit mental breakdowns. It was just like exhaustion. I just had to like take a step back and like not do what I was supposed to do that day in terms of studying. Um, so I had two breakdowns with my studying habits and it was like just not sustainable just because I put a lot of pressure on myself and I kind of felt like as I was studying I kind of felt like am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? So you want to give yourself time, you know what I'm saying? You want to give yourself the space to succeed. So don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, be gentle with yourself. Try to. I do recommend having at least one day a week where you don't study and you just relax. I didn't do that, and I kind of regret it. I mean, not, not, not that much, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't regret it that much, but because I think what ended up happening was when I when I started my internship, I took a lot more like rest days. I would just hang out with my friends a lot more. But um, yeah, it just don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. I know it's a big test. I know it's a big deal because it is a big deal. Don't get me wrong, but don't hurt yourself. Um, and don't underestimate yourself. I always tell people to shoot for the stars. Shoot for the stars. If you fall or if you fail, then you might land on the moon. No, 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 you shoot for the moon. So if you fail, you land among the stars, right? Okay, so yeah, like, please, 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 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want you guys to underestimate yourselves because you would be so surprised as to what you can do. Yeah, I feel like that's all I have. I, I don't feel like, I don't know why these videos are, are so short all of a sudden. I am in medical school and I have to go anyway. Um, so like if you want to like, share if you want to share, comment if you want to comment, subscribe if you want to subscribe, or if you don't want to subscribe, subscribe anyway. Tweet me questions if you have them. Uh, MDPHDMe, that's the Twitter handle. My website is MDPHDMe.com. Okay, call to action. Put some content that you guys want to see. One of the questions that I tend to get are like, what are my chances? What is an ideal candidate? So I think I might make a playlist on that. I should probably write that down. I might make a playlist on that, but let me know what you guys want to see. I, somebody wants to, they want to know how to get into an internship. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will try and give that to you. All right, that's all I have. So have a good one. Bye.